Hello, John. Hello, Ottawa. So today we're going to talk about the Fianna Fáil Art Fesh in 2016. It was a long time ago, over two years ago. Um, and we're going to talk about Senator Avril Power. And you also say that there's no mention of Christ or Christianity by the Taoiseach Leo Vradker or Michael D. Higgins, the President of Ireland. That's right, uh, especially when they're talking about Christmas, they manage uh, uh, Christmas, uh, Chris Christ Mass. Uh, th that is the uh, reason for the, for the celebration, that's the reason for Christmas, uh, to uh, remember the birth of our Saviour in Bethlehem over 2,000 years ago. But uh, teacher of um, Leo Varictor, uh, managed to uh, make a speech without mentioning uh, uh, Jesus Christ or anything like that. And he, uh, uh, President Higgins has made speeches and has managed to avoid mentioning it also. Uh, um, I can tell you that that is a, a disgrace uh, for these people to be leaders uh, by way of president and by way of teaching in the country and to, uh, in, a, in, a, in a country that's uh, 85 to 90 percent Catholic and Christian that they managed to speak about Christmas without mentioning our, uh, our Saviour Jesus Christ or anything like that or about what the celebration is about the birth of our Saviour. Even Theresa May uh, in Britain which is uh, not noted for its Christi Christian uh, uh, approach and uh, mindset uh, ma managed to talk about the Christian uh, tradition in Britain and how it had led to such had, had been a force for good. Uh, so uh, Britain, who which used to be considered a pagan country in my youth, uh, now is more Christian than this country, which was considered very much a Christian country. So our leaders are not mentioning us. Uh, so it's a disgrace as far as as far as most of us are concerned. Uh, to be better to uh, say nothing if that's the way they feel. Do you, want <coughs> Sorry, John. Do you want to discuss Fianna Fáil's art fashion 2016 and Senator Avril Power and maybe what was said at that time? Well, in, in uh, 2014 or thereabouts, um, uh, there was a uh, Fianna Fáil art dish in... 2016, was it? Uh, well, no, I think it was 2014 or 15. Okay, go It on. was uh, before the uh, same-sex marriage referendum that occurred. Uh, and uh, I was at that meeting and apparently at nine o'clock in the morning on the on the Saturday, the meeting army went on Friday and Saturday, I think it was either Friday or Saturday, there was a meeting at nine o'clock in the morning, nobody knew anything about it. And uh, there was a small number of people at maybe forty at most, maybe fifty at most. And uh, it was discussing the uh, the proposed marriage referendum that um, Kenny and the Fine Gael and Labour majority were bringing in uh, to make uh, marriage between two men or two men, women legal and call it marriage equality. Now, uh, a fringe meeting occurred on that subject and I think it was chaired by Avril Power, Senator Avril Power as she was at the time. She had been proposed as a senator by Michal Martin. Uh, she was pro-same-sex pro, uh, marriage and all that and it was this meeting had that proposed a fringe meeting and it, it passed by a very narrow majority, probably only one or two of those people present. But lo and behold, that small fringe meeting suddenly became Fianna Fáil policy without any proper discussion. I attended meetings myself at the time when I was a member of Fianna Fáil, I couldn't understand it. Uh, but it was decided it was Fianna Fáil policy from this fringe meeting. Now, that's so different, and of course she's, this Avril Power stood for the general election, wasn't elected, now she's uh, chief executive of some uh, Quango um, organisation, uh, I forget what it is called, uh, which is no longer in politics. Her husband was uh, the editor of the Irish Independent, so she had <coughs> fairly good publicity. Anyways, uh, she, she now uh, is gone from the scene, uh, but um, it, this is the legacy she, she left that Fianna Fáil supported the uh, the marriage ref, uh, the marriage equality referendum as it was called, which was for same sex marriage between two men or two women. Now, uh, at this business of the Ardesh, where it was the the whole meeting, ninety percent in favour of 
pro-life and protected life. And yet Michal Martin, Tim Dooley and those ones said that it was it was uh, it was just uh, it wasn't really Fianna Fáil policy. It didn't have a free vote. So on the one hand, a small, narrow, narrow, unrepresentative meeting uh, becomes Fianna Fáil policy, and where it's discussed openly at a meeting, and where it votes for the protect life, uh, to decide, well, it's just that was just a, an Ardesh, it's not binding. So it's very hard to understand the thinking of Mr. Michal Martin. By the way, the media didn't raise these issues. It shows you their, it shows you their pro-abortion stance. They don't want to, they don't want to cause difficulty for, for, for Mr. Michal Martin. Thank you very much, Jamal. Thank you very much.